I've had quite a few people ask what they should bring to Thailand for the Thai Fruit Fest and there are about three things that are pretty important that you bring and that first one would be bring a camera and an external hard drive because you're going to be taking a lot of photos and videos and you don't want to spend so much time throwing them on, uh, editing them and putting them online during the festival. It's better just to take a whole bunch of videos, put it on the external hard drive and then take it home and deal with it then. Put it up then uh, throughout the year. You can get a lot of really good footage here and then you can use it to throw up, throw up online throughout the whole year. Um, so bring an external hard drive, whether it's 500 gig or a terabyte or even two terabyte. You can get a two terabyte external hard drive for about 125 bucks, 150 bucks. So do that, bring a small little external, they're not big, they don't take up much space and they'll allow you to store a lot of memories and you can throw them up and video edit them later. So bring a camera and an external hard drive, that's actually one thing you should bring, external and a camera, because everybody already has an iPhone. So next thing, second thing you should bring is two credit cards if you can and a debit card. So this will allow you to spend money, get money. I get my money at ATMs uh, because I'm going to be here for another year now. I'm probably going to open up a Thai bank, but I've been here now for uh, well, how long? Almost six months, and I've just been going to the ATM every every couple of weeks. There's a five dollar charge that they charge me, so it's not that bad. But you know, um, it, it's fine. You do, I just go to the ATM, take out cash, and good to go. It automatically gets converted into um, Thai bot here. So. Not only bring your credit cards and debit card, but notify your bank. Tell your bank before you come. You don't want to come all the way over here and then your bank freezes your card because they're like, hey, so and so is in Thailand. That's not right. We'll freeze their account. Okay. Uh, third thing you should bring is a bike. If you aren't going to bring a bike though, you should. But if you're not going to bring a bike, you can rent a bike here. But everybody's on bikes here. That's, a, that's a really how you get around. Uh, I was here for the first couple weeks without a bike. I got around fine because I took a taxi everywhere, but it's very expensive and it's so much funner. You feel much more like you're living life when you're on a bike. You just, you have so much freedom. You don't need to wait for a taxi. You just hop on your bike and go places. It's awesome. It's pretty safe and uh, it's just really good fun. So bring a bike as well. And uh, if you don't know how to bring your bike, you think it's too complicated, there's like three or four things you got to take off. You got to take off the seat, you got to take off your pedals, and you got to take off your front and back wheel, and you got to take off your handlebars. But it's so easy. One tool does it all, really. Just get a little bike tool, one tool does it all. If you don't want to do it, no problem. I didn't want to do it either when I first did it. So I brought it to a bike shop. I said, here's my bike, here's 20 bucks. Put it in a box for me, let me, let me fly with it. No problem. When I arrived in Thailand, I didn't want to put it back together, so I take my box with my bike inside, give it to the bike shop, pay them $2, they take it apart, put it all together, and boom, bike is good to go. So very easy to do. It's going to cost you less than thirty dollars to pack it up and then and then and then um, get get it turned back into a bike, get it transformed back into a bike. So do that if you can. It shouldn't cost much to fly with it either. Most airlines give you um, allow, allow you to fly with the bike for free. If it's not for free, it's usually fifty bucks. If it's more than that maybe you want to rent a bike here, I don't know. It depends how long you're going to be in Thailand. But those, those are pretty much the, the three things. And then three things you should do before you get here would be get get as fit as you can in the week leading up. Just start going for some easy runs, start going for some long bike rides, uh, maybe head to the pool, head to the gym, do 100 squats, at least be able to do 100 squats nonstop. So get fit before you come. Everyone here is really into fitness. Second thing you should do is get as healthy as you can. Do some, do some cleanse, do some detox, just get as healthy as you can. Eat as clean as you can. Don't think, don't have the mentality, I'm going to eat as crappy as I can now, so when I go to Thailand, um, I'll, I'll detox there. Or don't think that because you're going to be in Thailand, you're not going to be able to eat this food over there, so you're going to eat as much of it as you can right now. Start eating really clean and simple now. Eat as much fruit and vegetables and as greens as you, as you possibly can. Definitely keep it plant-based, but ideally keep it raw before you come. You're just gonna feel so much better. And then, so you get fit before you come, you get healthy before you come, and then learn a bit of Thai. Learn a little bit of Thai. I'll post a video right here, how to speak some Thai. I'll post it right here. The video will be right here. And um, yeah, learn, just learn basic, basic Thai. Just learn how to say thank you, kap um kap. Learn how to say hello, sawadee kap. And learn how to say how much, tao lai, tao lai. 
And you, you're not gonna know the answer when they ask, when you ask how much, you're not gonna know the answer because you're gonna start saying like, Gisit baht, which means 20 baht, but you're not gonna know what all these numbers means, there's many different words and numbers. So it's just say, Tao Lai. And then they'll grab a calculator, or you grab their calculator, everyone has calculators, punch in the number and they show you how much. So, Tao Lai, how much, Kapum Kap is thank you, and Sawadee Kap is hello. Um, if you're a girl, you say Kapum Ka, and if you're a girl, you say Sawadee Ka. But if you're a guy, you say Swati Cup. And if you're a guy, you say Kapum Cup. And then um, everybody says Tao Lai, how much. So those are three things you should be able to do before you come. Get fit, get healthy, and learn a bit of Thai. And the three things you should bring would be a camera and an, an external hard drive. Uh, multiple credit cards in case one doesn't work, get another one. And a debit card, and then call your bank. And then the third thing, bring a bike, bring a bike, bring a bike. If you're not going to bring a bike, you're going to rent one here. Because you're going to be on a bike. Everyone's got a bike here. Um, so I hope, hope that helps. I'll uh, see you guys soon. See you guys soon. We just, just got back from a ride with uh, Durian Rider and Freely and maybe six or seven other people up, up Doi Su Tep. So that was really fun. But I'll uh, see you guys soon. Peace.